Hey everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to take a regular bow like this and make it look like this, a bow from the Hunger Games. Okay, first I'm going to remove this handle. It used to have uh, a little extra thing that held the, the arrows, but that came off. So I'm just going to cut this off because it needs to be flat on the front. Luckily this handle was really easy to remove. I just cut it once with an X-Acto blade and I think it's just going to peel right off. Your handle may be different. I drew, I took marker and I drew where the handle was. In case anyone wanted to know the exact kind of bow I'm using, it's a Ben Pearson 3350 60 inch bow, 35 pound draw. I've taped a clear piece of plastic to the handle where I'm going to attach the new part of the handle. That way I can pour my um, liquid molding stuff and it won't go past the front so it'll be nice and smooth and flush. And I'll just shape the back part and the sides. This is what I'm going to be using to make the handle with. You don't have to use this. It's just, this is just what I have laying around the house. I'm sure there's other things that are as good or better. Um, it, you have to mix two parts of this with one part of water. So I've got two cups of this and I'm going to put one cup of water into a bucket and mix it up. Okay, sorry about the, all the construction noise, but the people won't stop doing construction. And sorry about the chicken. Oh, uh, do a drawing of what your handle, what you want your handle to look like and have that ready when you have the stuff mixed because once you mix this stuff, it's going to start to harden after I don't know, X amount of minutes. So I'm going to keep my drawing next next to the bow, and I'm going to start taking this stuff, which is really cool. Feels it feels like a mixture of plaster of Paris and paper, and I'm just going to start putting it on. And as I get more on, I will I will shape it closer to the. Uh, the shape of the handle. I have to turn the camera off to this. I need two hands. Okay, I've got I've got all of it on. See, I, I used all of it. I think it was the right amount. And this is what it looks like so far. Now I'm going to shape it more closely to the actual handle shape. Here's the coat of sculpt mold done. It's a little bit rough, but I'm going to sand it later. Okay, this handle has been drying for about two days now. It might have taken three, but I had I had it set up with candles under it, and I was using the flame of the candles to heat it up and dry it out. So I think that worked. Now I have to sand it a lot. This, this has to be a lot thinner. Like, see right here, probably has to be half as thick on this side, and same on that side. So I'm going to start sanding it with my power sander probably too loud but uh, I'll show you when it's done. I think I'm done sanding. Now I just need to coat it with something for uh, to give it a final shape and to waterproof it and also to fill in holes. Actually I might I might take this off and glue it back on because it's a little bit loose and then I will coat it with maybe like Bondo or some kind of epoxy. I've decided to completely remove the handle and glue it back on for stability. I'm going to use this product called Liquid Nails and I'm also going to coat the handle with that stuff and sand it off. It says it is paintable and sandable. So we'll see how that turns out. I've never used this product before. Okay, I was just getting ready to sand this. Remember this is the Liquid Nails product and I I noticed that it peels off. I thought this stuff was going to be hard and I could sand it because it says you can sand it on the package but it it's like rubber just peels right off. So I'm probably going to have to peel it off of this whole front and um, I don't know. I, I, have, I want to try to leave it in this crack though and um, then I'm going to have to coat it with something else because I need a hard coat so I can uh, paint it. 
Okay, that liquid nail stuff that I got was a total waste of money. I should have just bought this in the first place, but I was trying to save money. All right, okay, now I'm going to use JB Quick Weld. It's a two-part epoxy type of stuff. I have to mix both of these parts together equally, and I'm going to take some kind of spreader and spread it along the top so it's flat. You know, like a, one of those plastic car spreaders. Just do like that. And I will also add it to the sides and the back. I'm going to totally coat it. Also, I, I added this little shape thing here. Um, also, this red stuff that you see is car spot putty. Glazing and spot putty. Uh, it, that was just to stop the fuzziness of the paper plaster stuff because it's real like powdery and fuzzy. And I just kind of wiped it on here. So that's why it's red. When you're sanding your boat, uh, remember to use something flat and hard to sand so that you get a nice even shape. I'm using just a piece of metal. You can use a sanding block or anything that just doesn't bend when you put your sandpaper around it and sand it. Like After you've sanded it pretty flat, if there's areas that the sandpaper hasn't hit yet, that means those areas need filler. Don't keep sanding it too low because if this is the front of the bow and this is lower than the front of the bow then and if you keep sanding it, it's going to be too low so it needs to be filled up so it's level. If you saw my other video about the, the bad primer that took 24 hours to dry, um, that's what this is. I sanded most of it off though, the red stuff, and I'm not going to use that again. So I'm going to put this on my painting chair, and uh, today I'm going to be trying Rust-Oleum Specialty Plastic Primer, which I don't really want to use, but uh, again, I can't find any real primer, so I'm going to be using this. It says for all types of plastic, and this isn't really plastic, it's like, uh, well, it kind of is, it's like, oh, this is not good. Okay. All right, I have to go buy some real primer. Okay, I just bought some real primer. This is from Kmart. It's cheap, dollar seventy-nine, but this is exactly what I need. Just gonna cover the whole thing, let it dry, sand it again. Now that I've got a good coat of primer on it, I can see some problem areas. This part, the the plaster stuff is starting to show through. I need to um, put a little bit more epoxy stuff on it. And here. And if you just look carefully, you can see different areas that need to be sanded or something. So that's what the primer, I think, is for. It, it helps the, the final paint stick, but it also gives you a nice, clean uh, color to see if there's anything wrong with it. Okay, once you get the handle the shape you want, it's time to do the optional step of adding a crack between here and here, all the way up. Now, in the movie, this part looks like it's a different part than here. And you can see see that there's lines. So what you do is you take a straight edge, and you're going to line it up from here to here, like that. And you would hold it tight so it's not like this. You want it real, real tight. And you're going to take a, a razor or an X-Acto knife and just Go, go from here to here a couple times, so you make a, a score mark, and do that on both sides. So you would do it over here also. Alright, I've got the lines cut in, as you can see, on there on both sides. And that's about it for the shape of this bow. Now all I have to do is finish priming it, a final coat, uh, that will go in these cracks and uh, I haven't done the tips yet.
and a little bit of other stuff. But and then so after the final coat of primer, I will do the paint and then it'll be done. I think I'm going to split this into two videos because this one's taking forever. So, hope you watch the next one and thank you for watching. Bye.